Hello everyone. I hope you all have installed Ubuntu 18.04 in your computer and also you must have installed Koha as per the instruction given in the last video. So now it's time to move on and start working in Koha. So first of all I would like to brief little bit about Koha Open Source Integrated Library Management System. As you are all aware that Koha is an open source integrated library management system and uh, it was developed by Koha developer community in the year 1999 in New Zealand. And then after it continued and today we are having the latest Koha version 18.05 Koha, Koha software is written in Perl script language and it is supported with web server Apache and RDBMS MySQL database whatever the information we use or we save in our computer with the help of Koha Integrated Library Management System. It is saved in MySQL database. For any kind of academic library, whether it is university library, college library, school library, public library, or a special library, Koha can be implemented in very effective way. And Koha has the capability to fulfill all the requirements to any kind of library as per the features available in Koha. It has all required modules like acquisition, serial control, cataloging, circulation, online public access catalog, international standards such as Mark 21 for bibliographical ex uh, uh, exchange of information Z39.50 protocol for copy cataloging or harvesting the metadata bibliographical information from other server and it has also option for downloading the information of authority files through other server. Apart from this there are very good features available in online public access catalog and a good example of web 2.0 technology. So let's discuss now in detail how we can start working in Koha as per our requirement. So in this video I will be demonstrating what are the different modules available in Koha and what are the different parameters, preferences, values we can set in Koha while working. Once we install Koha, Koha may not run unless or until you define the certain rule and regulation, certain values as per our need and to configure that we need to set some values which is given in Koha in the beginning itself. So let's see how we can set all those values as per our requirement. So I am just going to demonstrate. First all of you please watch the video and then set the values in your system of Koha. So let's see how we can do this.